All right, what's up guys? It is Watch Chris and I am in Miami. We're actually in the design district right now. We're gonna be hitting up Watchbox. We're gonna be hitting up a few brands, IWC, Omega, even Bulgari. We're doing a lot today, so come along. So, I actually did a video just a few weeks ago with my wife in the video, and this is my brother. I know we don't look very much alike, but this is my brother. Watch Jimmy, or not watch Jimmy? No, watch Jimmy. Nice to meet you. I don't share Chris's passion for watches, but I support him. Show him the watch I have on today. It's a Google watch. Google watch, guys. He actually has a Panerai, you have a Tech Hoyer. He has some nice watches, but... Uh, it's all about utility. Yes, he chooses not to. Great guy, my brother, I love him. We are in Watchbox Miami still, and we are looking at some watches with Megan. So Megan is going to show us the watch that's on her wrist. She has a Santos on. Yeah, so I think uh, in the day and age where everybody's so obsessed with independence, I think it's always important to pay tribute to the classics. Right. Freddy Santos for me has always been a watch that's elegant, it's timeless, and I know it's always going to look good on my wrist no matter what I'm doing. So for me, I think uh, a watch is all about how it makes you feel. And I think when this, I put this on, it's all about you know, it gives me that boost of confidence. So we have another cool Cartier in the yeah, window so here. So we're going to take a look at that. A DLC. This is the Grady Santos, the skeleton. Same gist. So a DLC coated uh, stainless steel. It's stunning. It's a bit on the larger side, but I think it's, uh, it's definitely not for every dealer. Right? Yes. It's a bit harder to pull off, but when it comes to skeletons, there's so many options out there in the industry that it's just such a timeless piece to go with. I think I could definitely pull it off because I wear, <laughs> I wear large watches, so sure. I'm actually wearing a uh, David Thune right now that uh, Phil gave me to wear, so this yeah. is not my watch, hopefully one day. But uh, larger watches, uh, I've never been shy with, but I don't think these wear very, very large. These are great because um, the, I have the ADLC version that is just the just sort of standard version, sure. 100 meters of water resistance, but it's the bracelet that you know, the ease of taking off the bracelet with this button in the back. Yeah. I think it just makes it a great everyday watch. And the fact that you can get it skeletonized, you can get one that, you know, just has a DLC bezel, you can get one that's all DLC, you can get one that's in stainless steel, a little bit smaller. The variety from Cartier with the Santos make it one of the best, probably, everyday sports watches that you can buy. So we have a few watches out here. Uh, two Mosers, we have uh, two Vacherons and two APs. Uh, we're going to be looking at some uh, Cartiers as well. We have a Nisha right here, who is the uh, mascot for Watchbox here in Miami. And he's uh, he's going to be looking at watches with us today as well. Let's start with, I guess, the Mosers. Okay. So tell me a little bit about of that course. guy right there. So right here we have the Moser Streamliner chronograph. Beautiful blue dial. I mean, I think when it comes to Moser, I think there's only one thing you could talk about right off the bat, and that's going to be the dial. That's what they're all about. This one is the special streamliner featuring the bracelet. Beautiful movement. And this is definitely one of my favorites, uh, not only because of the dial, but because of the bracelet, and specifically the movement because of the uh, manufacturer here, who uh, they basically source it out to Ingenieur, but uh, the movement itself, the depth, it's a weird watch. I think it's kind of polarizing, especially yes. the, the bracelet. Um, looks like an armadillo, but the bracelet here, one of the best, if not the best. Very comfortable on, too. Yeah, on any integrated bracelet watch. And, and we have some amazing integrated bracelet watches on the table, specifically, um, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Vacheron. Here is a dual time. I think the most important thing and what I love about the overseas in particular is the versatility, right? I think more brands should kind of do this a little bit more. We're offering not only on the bracelet, they also offer it on an alligator strap and rubber straight from purchase. I've always been on board with the with Vacheron, not only the overseas because uh, I, I own an overseas, but uh, I've always been on board. I just I just love Vacheron. Um, 
And this is the big dog right here. This is the big dog. So right. this is the, obviously, of course, some precious metal rose gold. We have the ultra thin perpetual calendar, beautiful dial. Love that blue with the contrast of the rose gold. I mean, who doesn't love a perpetual calendar? I mean, I think when it comes to one of the nicest perpetual calendars out there and a little bit more of a versatile piece, I mean, I think it gives, you know, the ultra thin Royal Oak RD2 a run for the money. What is the retail on something like this around? So retail on this piece in particular is going to be right around 100, maybe high 90s. Um, but mind you, it is a precious metal. It is perpetual calendar. And obviously it's packed with complication, precious metal. So I honestly do have to say, I think the retail price from Vacheron does justify the piece in particular. So, we're in Miami, we're in the design district, we're actually in Omega right now, we've got an astronaut behind us, and this is my friend Bobby. Bobby is actually the head of Red Bar Bahamas, and tell us Yeah, good to see you Chris, of course, I've been a big fan since his early days, and uh, great to catch up in uh, Miami. I'm actually here for a Bitcoin conference, but also to share some content with him. Uh, yes, I'm the head of uh, Red Bar Bahamas, and uh, we're a global collective um, of watch enthusiasts all around the world. We have about 70 different uh, chapters. In fact, I'm actually watching, uh, wearing a, a collaboration watch with uh, Bamper, which was just released earlier this year. Actually, Bobby was one of my first one of the subscribers. Few, yes. One of my first subscribers, so. A1 since day one, that's yes. what they say. Yes. So we're here today in Miami, and uh, we are at IWC. Andrew from IWC is going to show us three of your new sort of releases. Uh, this one actually very very hot right now, right? Uh, I've seen this around, and, and it's uh, it's a really good looking watch. So uh, walk us through what we got here. Okay. So uh, here we have the uh, 41 millimeter Pilot's watch. Uh, it's made for the Mercedes AMG Patronas team, and this year we did put the reference on a Miami pink or the Patronas teal. Uh, right here in these two watches, you do have the perpetual calendar, which tells you the day, the date, the month, the year, and the moon phase, and it's accurate for 577 years. Uh, with this one, you have it in uh, serotanium, which is a titanium that we heat up so hot that it creates kind of like a ceramic-like coating, giving it the structural integrity of titanium with the scratch system of ceramic. And with the Mojave, uh, we drew inspiration from the training facilities of where the Top Gun pilots actually train. So that's where you do get the Mojave Desert, the Lake Tahoe that recently came out as well. And uh, just all those interesting colors in the woodlands. Very, very cool. Alright, so this was a little bit of a different video than I normally do. In Miami for a few days, we went to a bunch of different places, a couple of different boutiques. We stopped at Watchbox for a while, we saw some amazing watches, uh, amazing people, amazing friends, family. Uh, let me know if you like this video guys, I'm going to be trying to do a little bit more lifestyle content uh, coming through the channel, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Thank you for logging on, I'll catch you guys in the next video.